Hello y'all, this is Make America Again, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4. This mod takes place in 2021 in a world where Donald Trump refused to concede the US presidency. And as a result of this, Joe Biden established a rival government. During the chaos of everything I just said, many other groups also rose up and seized power in different places in the United States. The country we're going to play as, at least for a little while, is the People's Republic of America. The PRA and its leader, Bernie Sanders, starts off at war with a few different countries, but we're not going to worry about that. In fact, we're going to go through the entire focus tree until we reach the focus, the radicalization of the masses. The Mormon War has started to the east. Meanwhile, we're busy getting our divisions encircled. All of our enemies have been defeated, with the exception of the Pacific Fleet, who is headquartered in Hawaii. A group of soldiers belonging to the Pacific Fleet landed in San Francisco and took over the city. They also managed to capture San Jose. I guess we're going to have to drive them back. Oh look, Elon Musk is in charge of his own country in Baja, California. In some part of the former USA, far away from us, the libertarian states of America are invading Detroit. Donald Trump's America is attacking the American Free State, who joined the Zapatistas faction. The other members of the Zapatistas faction consist of the Mexican Commune, Quebec, and Yucatan. We are going to be able to finally do the radicalization of the masses focus while we are doing this focus there will be an event chain which will give us different outcomes depending on the choices we make. So that said, I'm going to rapidly go through each one of the events that pop up. Work with old enemies? No. Traitors, one and all. The Office of Vice President. Let's go with the Communist, Joe Sims. The Media Question. Let's say lying about the regime never hurt anyone. The question of policing, should we defund our secret police or keep them around just in case? For the sake of national security, we will keep them. The fate of the Workers' Congress, we will disband the Workers' Congress. The Chinese support, what do we do? Let's cut communication with China. Do we return the Amazon headquarters to Bezos? No, let's say California is no place for billionaires. Repatriation. For this event, we will go with the option that says those who fought will serve their time. All is quiet on the home front, and it appears our reforms have been successful. Okay, actually, never mind. Forget what I just said, because apparently civil war is imminent. The People's Republic of America is falling apart, and in related news, a large amount of trained Mexican troops overwhelmed the border guard at the California-Mexico border and moved into a nearby city. They have announced in Spanish they are going to restore the true Mexican government in the new province of Alta, California. We will use this as an opportunity to play as the country of Alta, California. So we are now playing as a new nation. We have one national spirit and it is called Fight for Our Rights and our ruling party ideology is Democrat. Our starting army consists of four divisions and as for commanders we have five generals and one field marshal. We do have a new focus tree, and in it we are going to do the Sons of Guadalupe, welcome new immigrants, raise Latino regiments, disavow the Mexican nations, and proclaim the first Mexican-American empire. With war most likely just around the corner, we are going to get to work training as many people's army divisions as possible. The reason why we're training these and not the National Guard divisions is because they are smaller and thus take less equipment. As expected, California has gone into full Civil War mode. We find ourselves in conflicts with Jefferson, the Sacramento Autonomous Zone, the State of California, the People's Liberation Army, and the Border Patrol. We will need time to build up our fighting force, but on that note, who is going to stop us from taking the anarchist-held cities of Sacramento and Fresno? 
All right, change of plans. Let's just have the state of California, aka the California Republic, fight Jefferson while we do the focus raise Latino regiments. The Sons of Guadalupe focus is done, and with that complete, Celestino Avila Astadillo has become the leader of Alta California. He has to trade military governor, and he is of the autocratic ideology variety, specifically the military dictatorship kind. Who is Estadilla in real life? Well, from what I gather as a recording, he is a brigadier general in the Mexican army. Considering the situation our nation is in, we need all the help we can get. That is why we are going to use a decision to enlist the triple canopy mercenaries. By using this decision, we'll get a group of mercenary divisions. While we've been busy dealing with the Californian Republic, Arizona has been sneaking up on us through the Mojave. Latino Californian troops, that's us, that's who we're playing as, are moving into the Central Coast and are taking over that area. Also, we managed to send some soldiers over to the Mojave and hope we'll be able to stop the Copper State. We have raised several new units. Off to the south they will go because that is where they are needed the most. Our army is piercing into the heart of the Californian Republic. Soon, San Jose, Santa Cruz, Oakland, and San Francisco will be under the control of Alta California. The fighting drags on, and we have started offensives that aim to take the territory of the Californian Republic and Arizona. The Californian Republic declared war on San Diego. Sadly, for all parties involved, neither of these countries share a border with one another. Arizona is defeated. Now we will focus our attention elsewhere. By completing a focus, we have transformed into the Mexican-American Empire. Let's finish up our focus tree by doing Reunite California and Mexican Crusaders. California is almost ours. We just need to crush Jefferson and Nevada. Oh, and we may need to invade the Bloods and San Diego. In case you're wondering what happened to our neighbors, because I really didn't talk about them much, there are monarchists in the Pacific Northwest led by a Japanese queen. There are far-right people in Montana and to the east, directly next to us, there are socialist Mormons. The deed is done. All of California and parts of Nevada and Arizona have been brought under the sway of the Mexican-American Empire. The video is going to end here. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.